Well, we know the holidays can be a time of joy and celebration and also a time of stress and grief. And that's when some turn to a meal for a piece of home and some comfort. And today, breakfast is what's for dinner with an extra special meaning that we are sure many of you can relate to. Joining me is Kristen Klinkscales, who you can find as Kristen Eats on Instagram. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I know every December 7th, you like to make breakfast for dinner. I do. Tell me more about why you do that. So um, it's this is actually the ninth anniversary for when my dad passed away. And he was not a big breakfast eater because he was running around getting ready for work in the morning. So anytime that he got to have a say in what we had for dinner, it was always breakfast for dinner. So to celebrate him on this day and on his birthday, it's a tradition tradition of mine to always make breakfast and dinner breakfast for dinner for his honor. I yeah. love that. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of us love breakfast and don't have the time to eat it. So I love yes. that your dad wanted to have that as his birthday meal. And I feel like anniversaries like today or even just the holidays can kind of be a reminder of a loved one who's not here. So how have you found traditions like this to help you in the grief process? Yeah, so obviously um, he passed away r right in the middle of the holidays, mm. so the holidays can be really hard, but I find that doing traditions like this keeps his memory alive, and it's also like a really nice way to remember him on this day, a day that can be really sad. Yeah. So I always do breakfast for dinner. I have his favorite show. He loved Law & Order, so I always have Law & Order on. on TV at home, and then I also like to listen to his favorite music. So I think there's a lot of really beautiful ways that we can honor our loved ones instead of being, of course, it's going to be a sad day, right. but there's really beautiful ways that we can celebrate them. And and these are those are just a couple of things I like to do. Yeah, being intentional to remember him today. And I know we're doing that by making breakfast sliders. Yes. So what do we need? Okay, so this is a really fun, easy recipe. All you're gonna need is some delicious Hawaiian rolls. Oh, we know those everybody are loves so those. Good. <laughs> <laughs> some eggs, some bacon. I like to use the fully cooked bacon because all you have to do is chop it up and add oh, it. Nice. Um, but you could also cook your own bacon, and then you're gonna need some sriracha, some cheese, um, two different types of cheese and some mayo because we're going to make a little sriracha mayo. So that's the first thing that you're going to do is yeah. you're going to make yourself some sriracha mayo. We're going to cut our Hawaiian buns in half Okay. Um, and then we're going to make our eggs. So for our eggs, I use, I think the recipe says 12, I actually used 10 today and that was perfectly fine. So 10 to 12 eggs is great. You're going to melt your butter in your pan. You're going to make your eggs. Once they're about 75% done, we're going to add our cheese. Okay. So you're going to want to use shredded cheddar cheese, get that all melted and then I add the bacon in so it can kind of warm up a little bit. Yum. So after that, what we're going to do is we are going to put our sriracha mayo, sriracha mayo on the bottom of our buns. So okay. we're going to layer our buns. Sriracha First of all, mayo. Sriracha mayo just sounds so <laughs> good, Kristen. It just, it just takes like it just gives yes. it a little kick of Love fun. Um, so we're going to do the sriracha mayo okay. on the bottom of our buns. We're going to layer our egg mixture on top of it, and then we're going to take American cheese. I just used Kraft singles because they're so great. They're melty. Just adds a little bit more cheesy flavor. Yeah. Um, Top your buns, put some butter on them, and make sure you watch them. Do not be like <laughs> me. <laughs> I had a little mishap in the kitchen this morning, so they got a little browner than I would have wanted them. Maybe you like them a little bit burnt. <laughs> Maybe that's crispy. your extra special yeah. ingredient. You know what? My dad was never good in the kitchen, so another way to go. remember him. Another way to remember him. <laughs> so we're gonna make those for like they're gonna go in the oven for about 15, okay. 18 minutes until they get brown. Then you can take them out, and um, also before you want to make sure that you separate the rolls before you oh, put them in smart. there. It so makes it a little bit easier, easier, yes, for them to come out. Right. Um, but yes, and then you have these cute, little these cute slider. little breakfast sliders that you can have. And if you're like us and my family, we have them for dinner on this day, yes. um, and so it's a great way. It's a great little thing for dinner, but also this works really, really well on like Christmas morning yeah. or like a holiday morning if you don't want to, you know, do a whole like right. the pancakes and the waffles and a mm -hmm. lot of things. Mm -hmm. All of it's in one little dish. We love that, right? One little dish. Easy and cleanup. Yes. It's kind of also nice because it looks so personal and individual, but you mm -hmm. can make it in such a big batch. You yes. Cracking all the eggs into the one bowl. That's great. Yes. I love it. What would you pair this if we were still extra a little bit more hungry? What else would you eat with it? Yeah, I would do like a little side salad or something like that. If you want more breakfast for dinner, hey, I say do some more pancakes, maybe some more, mm -hmm. maybe some a side of sausage or something. If you are more of a sausage person than bacon, you could obviously oh, put, put sausage instead of the bacon in the recipe. But yes, but I'm big on 
and you know just bring out all your favorite breakfast things yeah. and make it a whole little event for for you or for your family absolutely well this was great thank you so much for stopping in and yes. for sharing that sweet and sentimental tradition like I said I'm sure a lot of us have lost loved ones and what an easy way to remember them on those harder days yes. and uh, this looks delicious so if you are looking for today's slider recipe or for past what's for dinner recommendations you can head on over to foxcarolina.com